sacred family welcome to another episode of starseed mission support i just gotta look at my technology for one second mission support family you know the drill we're gonna just bring our energy here into our shared space I've been feeling the water devas with me since yesterday after the womb healing container when the water came in with such a profound and beautiful activation that I have to share with you today and so I welcome you to just breathe and settle in, arrive here in this sacred space here together. And we're going to just attune to the vibration of water and to the whales and the universal oceanic womb vibration. Connecting to the water that is enveloping us all the time. And we'll get started with our talk today in just a few minutes. Take a nice, long, deep, steady breath into our body, expanding the flesh, the bones, the, the muscles, and all the water. Maybe gently touch your body and feel how soft you are. And maybe we haven't checked in with our body yet today. 
just for a moment, become aware of your precious, angelic living technology and breathe. Feel how so many water molecules in your body make up this soft, miracle intelligence. And as you bring your awareness into your body, feel your body begin to relax. As all tension begin to leave your body, any stresses of your day, things that you're worried and thinking about, just coming back to this moment here now together. Leaning into the softness of your body. And we're going to begin to open our sacred space today for this magnificent gathering of all of the angels here on earth coming together to pray, to connect, to dream a higher reality for all of earth into existence. I bow to each and every one of you tuning in live and in the future as you each greet your family members as well, preparing our body and our spirit to settle in for this transmission here today. And already, just with your consciousness, become aware of water. Maybe see in your mind's eye the sunlight shining on a pristine, crystalline lake somewhere high up in the mountains. Where this water holds its purest original living template. Feeling the radiance, the sparkles of that sunlight glistening on this water as it puts you into touch with this profound, pure consciousness that is water's original essence. And as we welcome our beloved water spirit into our circle today, she is gently awakening all of our cells, all 99% of our body, molecularly <laughs> becoming aware that spirit consciousness lives in water and water no matter where it is on this planet and in the cosmos is alive with cosmic consciousness to enliven and purify and awaken our body and our consciousness, bringing us together. And just breathe here for a few more minutes.
Blessings, beautiful family. Welcome to this episode of Starseed Mission Support. I am so grateful and honored that of everything you could be doing today on this beautiful Sunday. We have a heat wave. You are choosing to be here with your angelic family and here with me. So I'm so honored and grateful that you are here. And I promise that today's transmission, it is likely going to be life changing because this energy, the spirit of water that has been with me the past, uh, I don't know, 30 hours or so, um, she is, I mean, she has been radically changing my life um, this whole year. I don't know if you guys remember, but in the beginning this year, I think in February, I channeled this um, Aurora Living Light liquid sound healing chamber and i literally felt the water molecules make the song um i felt them use my body to create the sound chamber and for some reason i put these um clips of whales singing and you know in the end the, the track sounded like i was singing with the whales where you know i would sing and then the whales would sing and we were having this dialogue and I you know, really didn't know that that was the beginning of this initiation, that water was um, contacting me. And I went down all of these rabbit holes about how the aurora and how interuniversal plasma, um, how plasma is an elemental and plasma is like universal water and how water and plasma, these are the elemental conduits of consciousness, of spirit, of our souls, of life force itself, and how water, it is such um, a majestic and mystical substance. I mean, I went down many rabbit holes studying water, and from what I could gather, the earth scientists are truly stumped with water when it comes to understanding the elements. Um, many elements follow you know, laws of physics, and apparently with water, there are over a hundred anomalies that scientists just don't understand, and obviously, I'm not a uh, earth-based scientist. I almost said I'm not a scientist, but that would be untrue because um, I was a scientist where I come from, um, from Andromeda, where, you know, I studied light field genetics, and so truly, I am a scientist. It's just that human beings approach science quite differently than how we do in other places in the universe. So that being said, water, you know, it is such a magical substance. And so many, maybe perhaps every Native American and ancient culture have had um, an incredible relationship with water. And, you know, this week I was putting together some information because actually so many of you reached out to me to speak and to you know facilitate a grid work ceremony for fukushima and you know it was so numerous you know at least 10 that i couldn't just not do it and i felt very aligned uh, because obviously last week we were working or the two weeks ago we were praying for maui and of course, Japan is another sacred island in the Pacific Ocean. And the Pacific Ocean is coming up a lot because we are actually headed to Moorea uh, next week for uh, next month for some grid work. And it happens to be another island in the Pacific Ocean. So I have a lot of intel coming out over the next month. I won't go too much into this. Um, you know, essentially, this chain of volcanoes around the Pacific Ocean it's kind of like the cervix of the of the earth because the Pacific Ocean is like the womb. And I believe that the first life on earth emerged from the depth of the Pacific Ocean from the underwater volcanoes. And so this chain of uh, this chain of volcanoes is called the Ring of Fire. And in October, we have an eclipse in the middle of the month right during the Arcturus Gateway on October 14th, and this eclipse happened to be called the Ring of Fire Eclipse, which I think is a title that they have because basically the moon gets in between the earth and the sun and it creates this ring of fire effect. But anyway, of course, um, operating in this way of grid work, um, there's no such thing as a coincidence. And so, of course, we're getting so much intel about islands in the Pacific Ocean and the important role that these islands are playing. Um, in facilitating and holding the ancient 
living consciousness architectures of the earth um, light body. And so um, in researching about all of this, preparing for today's Circe mission support, um, I actually was reminded that this research began back in March, maybe? I don't know if you guys remember when this train derailed in Ohio and it created this huge commotion and people were very um, afraid because there was a lot of chemicals that end up spilling over a very large and important water table in the United States. And I had made a video back then called War on Water Consciousness because, of course, all past through the end of 2022 in December, when I first started feeling the auroras activating the water body on Earth very strongly, and then the water beginning to come in and literally, you know, channeling through this body to create these sound chambers to connect human beings and to awaken this water intelligence inside of human beings. Um, at that time, um, I really felt like that train derailment was like one of these counterattacks on the awakening of the water because, you know, having an awareness of the water inside of our body is transcendental. And the reason for that is, you know, our mind, it understands everything mentally and conceptually, right? But there is kind of this difference between intellect or intelligence and sentience, which is kind of intelligence that is connected to the soul, okay? And when we approach water with our intelligence, we say, oh, well, it's H2O and it exists in all these places. And, you know, we have all these understandings about water scientifically. But then when we perceive and approach water through our sentience, which is essentially an intelligence that is guided and enveloped and supported by this soul aspect it's really hard to put words to it, right? Because we're not just minds. We're not just computers. There's something different um, about the human mind than a computer. What is that thing? Well, it's the soul. It's soul intelligence. And this is what gives us this feeling of sentience. This is the knowing of the heart. And so when we start to perceive water with this sentience that we have, we start to realize that all of water is alive with consciousness and this water is everywhere it is in everything it is what we're mostly made of and is really the thing that unites every single human being it doesn't matter what language you speak or where you live or what color you are there are the same primordial water molecules that are existing in every single body on earth and it's literally the same cosmic intelligence that is running through the currents of those water molecules in every single body on earth and it's when the mind actually loses touch with that awareness of elemental unity that it really begins to start to perceive the world and live inside of the state of separation and i think that state of separation is something that was intentionally seated on earth and in this universe and places so that we can experience certain levels of absolute free will as an experiment. But I also feel that at this time on earth and in this universal body, there has been this um, choice point, a cosmic decision, a collective decision that it is time for us to come back into unity. I made a, a amazing video about the Emerald Covenant a couple weeks ago on this YouTube channel. And that outlines, you know, the different experiments of universal consciousness that we have been undergoing and how at this time all consciousness is coming back into a unity and we're basically repairing and healing and rehabilitating all of the frays and distortions that are occurred when we stepped into the mental when we stepped into the separation and so um understanding how powerful water activation is that if human beings just came back into connection with the water molecules in their body and allow the water to be the mass which is facilitating the consciousness, 
And this is why water awareness is transcendental because it takes us out of our mind, out of our individual identity and into this awareness of our elemental unity with all of life. And so, of course, when this aurora frequency, which many most angelic starseeds, I'm going to say all angelic starseeds are connected to, right? If you are resonating with this term starseed, you are definitely part of the aurora or contracted to support or be in union with the aurora because the aurora is literally this host that is coming in with like the purest essence of original ancient creation consciousness, like the original architecture of God beyond this universal intelligence. So it's holding this ultra love field. <laughs> it's such deep, profound innocence and unity and joy and beauty. And it's coming in to support in the rehabilitation of any pieces of consciousness that has fallen out of resonance with that true original source intelligence. So when the auroras begin to activate the water molecules on the earth in alignment with universal time, right, in accordance with the activations of the dragons, all of this is, you know, spectacularly cosmically timed, which is why we really have nothing to be afraid of. We are not here to be afraid and to worry, but this cosmological alignment is occurring and the water is being activated. The water consciousness is being enlivened. So it's almost like this awareness was previously asleep and now this water activation is occurring. And this is so powerful because, you know, you ever try to wake up, you know, your mom or something and they're just not ready to wake up and you're telling them about all the things and they're like, all right, you're a conspiracy theorist and, you know, where is your tin tin foil hat? And they're just not ready to hear it, right? So it doesn't even matter what you try to say to their mind. If their mind is severed and blocked up, they can't wake up. But it's so powerful to approach this awakening from the elemental level because it's almost like they, I mean, it's not a hack because it's organic intelligence. It's like they are literally living in a body that's 99% water. And so if the water molecules in their body decides to awaken and now transduce, you know, this highest activated consciousness of source, then what's going to happen to their mind? they're going to start to wake up. So this is kind of what's been happening on a massive scale on the planet this whole year, massive water activations. And so there's a mass awakening that's happening because people, their, their bodies are being radiated by inter-universal plasma intelligence. And this plasma, it's not just going to random people and activating them. It is something that's happening on a planetary level. It's activating all water molecules. So in the air, in the trees, in the rivers, in the ocean, everywhere where there's water, that water is being awakened. So of course, when you have a massive awakening wave that is happening from the elemental level being incurred upon by universal forces, this is a ve very powerful force that, you know, really is unstoppable. And so, you know, these are the downloads that I was receiving already when the train derailment happened. And so to me, it was so clear that this was a direct attack because, you know, these spring waters and these water tables, especially up in the uh, Ohio area in the north, um, northeastern side of the United States, some of the biggest fresh water, um, water tables exist there. And of course, fresh water um, carries this crystalline, uh, clear nature. It's really the water that we nourish our bodies with. We're drinking that water. We're directly interfacing with that water. And it truly felt like this direct attack against the water awakening because so many um, plastics and heavy metals and all sorts of different, you know, poisons were leaking into the water. So fast forward, of course, a couple weeks ago, having found out about this nuclear dump in Fukushima, Fukushima and how they've been planning and, and wanting to do this for many years and how this is actually going to take like 30 years or something for them to complete. 
um, they've just started to dump like 100 million gallons or something like that into the ocean. Horrible idea. I think that we still have the opportunity to stop this. I think that we have technologies that are able to purify that water. Um, I feel like we're going to talk about some of those technologies and how you can activate your body to even become um, a plasma water purification technology. That is what the auroras are coming in to teach us is that we can actually facilitate this healing on a very high level because we can emit plasma from our body. Um, but okay, so what I discovered when the train derailment happened was that they've actually been doing this insane thing called deep well injections or deep injection wells. When I found out about this, this shocked me, all right? When I was doing research around the train derailments was when I first started researching this, but essentially there are 880,000 super ultra deep wells, which is essentially when they dig so far down that it's just rocks, right? It's like a mantle. And um, then they put all of this toxic <laughs> sludge, which is the byproduct of chemicals and plastics and oil refineries, all sorts of stuff that is just so toxic, they just put it down there really deep in the earth. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's totally safe. You know, it doesn't leak at all. I mean, the earth is going to take care of it. And of course, they were wrong. And now that sludge is leaking out of the wells and it is poisoning the water table um, in a really intense way. And there are different perspectives on this in the scientific community. And it sounds really uh, actually, doesn't that sound familiar? Um, injections that are totally safe, that, you know, haven't had time to be scientifically verified, but, you know, they're just doing and it's polluting, you know, the earth and our bodies in a, a really significant way. I mean, I just couldn't believe that there were 680,000 of them. I, I had to look up very, um, a few different sources because I thought maybe, you know, that one article I was reading was exaggerating, but nope, it was, it's in studies, is in articles, it's in all sorts of stuff. That's just the official reported number. And I guess with any reported number, there's a likely chance that it's actually more, right? So um, when I first was reading about this again, preparing for today's Star Seed Mission Support, I was devastated. I just sat in bed and cried for a whole day um, because I love the earth, <laughs> you guys. Um, I think when it comes down to it, like there's nothing that matters more than her well-being and her resplendence and how we treat her and how we revere her and how we become guardians for her. I mean, there's truly nothing more worthwhile for us to do in our whole life. And so for me to, you know, learn about this, it was tough because it just feels like it's too late almost, you know? It's like, oh my God, these people have been doing this since the, like the 60s or the 50s. I don't even know. It's almost been a hundred years we've been doing this until, you know, now we're finding out about it. And, you know, by the time we found out about it, you know, they're saying that within 10 to a hundred years, all of the fresh water in North America will be poisoned. And I just have this feeling that it's already happened on some level. Um, and so, you know, this is what the Earth Star Academy calls lucidity training, where we step out of the love and light false bliss and come into reality and just really start to notice what we're up against and what we're facing. And so, you know, the guardians just let me cry for a day because they felt like it was really important for me to truly feel that in my body. Um, and the reason for this is that, you know, a lot of people, they say, Z, I don't know what my mission is. How can I find out what my mission is? And I say, well, the reason why you don't know what your mission is, is because your heart is numb and your heart is offline. And since we were born, right, since we were born, 
everything in this world is bludgeoning our mind, our heart, and our sexuality with distortions and horrible things and wars and, you know, fires and all sorts of crazy stuff. And in order for us to just get by, because we're these soft, beautiful mammals, right? Our nature is so, you know, lovely. <laughs> and so in order for this soft human being to cope in this crazy world of violence and insanity, we had to get really numb. And we had to just almost get into this place where we don't care. It's like, it's just too much. And this is really the role of the news, right? It's like, okay, there's a war over here and there's famine over there. And now there's an earthquake here and a bunch of people died. And it's just constantly sending rockets into our soft human bodies to a certain point where we just were like, okay, I don't care. You know what? I, I don't, I don't even know like how to process all of that, right? We can't possibly feel love and compassion for every, all of those situations where human beings. And so because of this, our heart has been numbed and what happens when our heart is numb is that we shut off this crystal technology that is our emerald crystal heart. And our emerald crystal heart is essentially this mechanism where we're guided by the things that we love the most, by the things that bring us the most excitement and passion or sometimes rage right, and pain because we should care. We should care. And there's so much to care about that, you know, sometimes if we leave it up to our mind, then we'll just be lost. And so we tune into this intelligence of our sentience, right? And we allow that sentience to kind of begin to flower and awaken the water molecules in our body. And this is when that emerald crystal heart technology can start to come online and we can start to feel, feel how much we love each other and this world. And then when we start to truly feel how much we actually love this world, now we're stepping out of the numbness and we're realizing that we have to, we must come alive. We must activate ourselves. We must respond to how much we care. And so... I'm speaking to this trauma response in humanity where we're just so in shock and so locked in that numbness that we have to just bypass and pretend that, you know, our water, all of our water is in poison because our human self is like, that's such a big problem. Like, are we all going to die? Like, what are we going to do? I can't even process that. And then we just shut it down and we pretend it isn't happening. And so we work on healing the numbness in our heart. And so this is going to be um, this month in the Ursa Academy. We are focusing on this. We are working on the numbness in our mind and our heart and our sexual centers. And also working on actually activating our rage and transforming our rage into power. I really feel that at this time on earth, this is the medicine that every single human being really needs and in fact you know i'm actually just going to post the link to those two workshops down in the description of this video because i just feel like this medicine is needed to be out there for everyone so actually this month i'm going to put those two workshops up for free for everyone because you know we need to dissolve this numbness and know that it's safe enough to come alive and then we realize that you really are the dragons that are in stasis <laughs> you are the dragons in stasis and mother earth is a dragon in stasis and the elementals are the dragons that have been in stasis and we're all waking up at the same time and we're all dreaming the same dream and so you know we have the auroras and the guardians coming in with these um, higher dimensional healing technologies of frequency and so, you know, we can do this. We can do this. And no matter how bad things look, you know, it's time for us to fully awaken in our heart to allow our heart to dissolve and to remember what our mission is. Nobody can tell you what your mission is except that feeling in your heart. 
of what you love and how much you love it. <laughs> and honestly, you guys, you know, this journey has been so full of twists and turns. And sometimes, you know, I didn't even know what I was doing, wherever I was. But what I did know was I was always following that feeling in my heart. And eventually, you know, we journey to a place where we find ourselves doing something that matters. So um, one of the major medicines that work for the healing of water is sound frequency and especially sound frequency that is encoded with super ultra high intelligence of the, the aurora host, um, which is really like a high angelic beyond this universe, like inter-universal source. It's like full of this eternal peace and joy. And I, I say, you know, the star seeds really came to earth in this rainbow stingray and we were all like this one stingray, it's not what we were sitting on, is that, that this is our whole, our light bodies were one. And we're in the shape of this rainbow stingray and we're flying through space, coming to earth and we're drinking tea together and braiding each other's hair and having dance parties and having these big council meetings where we discuss things and create technologies and we just, you know, had so much pride and unity and gnosis in each and every one of our hearts that we belonged to each other and we loved God so much. And that is the vibration that we have come to earth with. And when we tune into that level of ourself, you know, we weren't afraid. <laughs> we weren't nervous. We knew how powerful we were. I mean, there are so many cosmic galactic scientists on this mothership. And we had access to science that is so far beyond what human beings have access to. And so you know, it's time for us to awaken and remember how these interdimensional technologies can function and help us and also allowing our human heart to fully feel how devastated we are so that it pushes us into activation. And this is an act of alchemy, right? When we can transform any energy into any other form of energy that we choose, when we become a creative alchemist, an alchemist of creation. So yeah, the guardians let me cry for a whole day because that was part of the alchemy. It was part of the medicine for me to feel the devastation because it brings me here in the presence. It brings me here into my human self. It brings me here into my body. And sometimes, one time I had a, a comment on an Instagram post, I think about the Fukushima, and she was like, you know, once you transcend 3D, then it won't matter, you know, if the water is polluted. And I was like, wow, that is the, you know, biggest new age crock of, B <laughs> crock of BS I've ever heard. Because, you know, you're full of water and water is everywhere. Water isn't connected. Another comment sometimes I get is people say, well, you know, I thought all timelines coexisted and some people are just going to live in this AI hellhole and other people are going to ascend into these communities. And it's like, no, the earth is literally one organism and these are new age agendas inserted into our community to literally help us numb out, right? These people don't live grounded on the earth. They're not even in their physical bodies where their bodies, elemental bodies, existence is in union with all of the water on earth and so this is like such a deep level of spiritual bypass but they don't even know because it's consented by this new age you know brain garbage that we have so feeling everything in our human self cultivating maturity in our human self you know all of this is essential there's a reason why they want you know, human beings to all be so immature that, you know, we can't care about others. We, we can barely support ourselves. We can barely, you know, make ends meet. They want to keep us all in that state of survival so that nobody can rise up and do anything about anything. And so as star seeds, we are these multidimensional avatar beings. We didn't come here to float around. We came here to embody mastery. That means, yes, we're all going through this crisis, but you're going to stand up and take responsibility. You're going to organize your life so that you can be strong and grounded and you can support everyone around you. 
right? That's what we're here to do. Not here to create further division or confusion or run around feeling victimized by everything. You know, we're here to be big brothers and big sisters in this good way. So the guardians made me sit in my tears and I was happy to be there. I felt in touch with the earth and I felt how much truly I loved her. And this was really important. Um, and then, you know, I was praying and praying for the solution because I felt so small. I'm like, the ocean is huge, like 30 trillion gallons of waste in the deep wells in the United States alone. And that sounds outrageous. <laughs> How many gallons? Three, 30 trillion gallons? I mean, it felt so big and I just felt so small and I was devastated. And I, I just prayed and prayed like, please just show me what we can do and how we can heal this water and um yesterday during the womb healing container we were just about to start our um weekly healing ceremony and i felt the water davas come in and they just totally hijacked my ceremony and i mean that in the best way like i didn't really have a plan but they just started coming in and the ladies were feeling it, it was such a strong but elegant and delicate energy and we're going to experience that in our in our prayer today my prayer is that each of us have a direct relationship with water intelligence and the healing power of plasma activated water this is the wish that the auroras and the water beings of the earth has for our call today is that they wish to be known they wish to be experienced they wish to come in touch with every single person they possibly can so that we can all have this elemental remembrance of our deep inherent unity and the essence of life that is really joy and life is so beautiful and it's meant to be full of beauty and joy and delight and coherence and unity and co-creation and all of the magnificent original template essences of mother earth and when we think about heaven on earth you know we say oh we're here to create heaven on earth and what i'm more and more realizing is that heaven on earth is already here it's just that we've been hijacked in our mind and we've left the garden right and we left the garden to learn very important things but now we're coming back we're actually returning to heaven on earth and not maybe creating it at all um and so yes um after this little transmission we're going to do a prayer grid work ceremony and the first part of that we're going to bring in the water deva intelligence and we're going to and i truly pray that every single person that listens to this recording that they truly have this experience um, because it just changed me it touched my life in such deep way and i feel that you know the more light workers more star seeds that can come into this integrated grounded version of unity consciousness where it is based in sentience and not mental intelligence right ai um that this is when our real work on earth can truly begin because we dissolve a need for this kind of special ego right? Our ego, our human self feels safe to just belong, feels safe to just exist alongside everyone. And we can dissolve this viruses of separation and over identification and just dissolve back into, you know, the pool, the ocean where it is so magnificently fun and joyful and loving. Um, yeah so after the water devas came in yesterday we experienced how profound that water can be healed almost miraculously because water carries memory and water will always remember its original structure so right now water is under attack right because our water which is our consciousness is being poisoned and this is how, this is one of the ways that they're keeping consciousness low on the planet. 
one of the ways is you know they're placing these churches and schools and militaries and wars and all of these things on major planetary ley line uh, locations and this inverts and and lowers the planetary consciousness because they're capping the consciousness in those places there um is a beautiful church in ottawa and I know that this is a special grid location because there's this magnificent church right there. And right across from the church is this giant demon spider statue. <laughs> okay. And it literally, if you've seen Stranger Things, it looks like a literal Demogorgon. It's just like a demon that comes from a different dimension. And so, you know, that's enough signs right there that that is probably a very powerful grid location. And so, um, of course, the statue is also named Mama, which means Mama in French. So it's literally the inversion energy. And I want to, it's really creepy. Um, I'm really sensitive at this point energetically. And so every month, you know, whenever I would wake up in the middle of the night and just have this eerie feeling that some ritual was happening. Um, and I, every time I'm around that statue, that's the vibration that I feel from it. And so one time we went into this church and I just was meditating and I was trying to connect, you know, up my column. And it's at this point, so easy for me to connect all the way up my column. But in this church, I, I was felt like there was a, a clamp like right up in, in what I experienced as 10D. And it's like it took me a lot of effort to actually move beyond that because the architecture of this church was blocking consciousness at the 10th dimensional level. And so I realized that these churches are, you know, holding the grids in this way, keeping consciousness low on the earth. And of course, the other major way that collective consciousness is being attacked on this planet is the poisoning of water. And the poisoning of water is happening everywhere in the water tables and the ocean and the rivers. I mean, just last month, actually, we go get water in this beautiful spring um, in this little town called Wakefield, about 30 minutes drive from my house. And just last month, you know, they put this no drinking notice on it. And when I started tuning in, I was feeling like there were heavy metals in the water. Previously, that water had been tested and it, it came in high for lead. And right now, you know, they're saying it's high in some sort of bacteria or something. But um, it's very clear that this water, it is you know, being poisoned. And most people that are poisoning the water don't understand the interdimensional, multidimensional implications of it. Um, there's this beautiful lake um, 45 minutes from us up north. And, you know, the emerald intelligence there is so palpable. We would go there and have ceremony before the summer and just every time would have such a magical time. And then summer rolled by and all the families, I mean, the beaches just got so busy and everyone's just lathering sunscreen on themselves. And I just, every time I, I just get heartbroken, I can't even have any fun because I'm watching all these kids just lather with sunscreen. Not only are they poisoning themselves, but then they're getting in the water. And by the end of the season, I was looking at the water and there was like a layer of that, you know, pearlescent like chemical sheen on the water. And in some places over on the on the shore, there was like this brown foam that was not there before the summer. So it just devastated me that all those human beings had no idea what they were doing and how this happens everywhere. And that's only one small example of how water is being polluted on this planet. Um, and so yesterday during the ceremony, what we were experiencing was this microcosmic reflection where we started to, you know, what we were doing, what we were receiving, which we will receive today in our starseed mission support is this transmission of the pure crystalline nature of consciousness that flows through water in its purest state. It is pure divine intelligence. And originally, this was the base vibration on earth, that crystalline intelligence, right? Oh, because that water is able to be a clear conduit. Source consciousness is just flowing right through it. It's almost like the see-through crystalline prism of intelligence that is so in its original form, like pure love, innocence, right? openness, joy, love. 
And I realized that in all the ways that we are not experiencing that in our own body, right? If we're not waking up in the morning and just eyes sparkling, greeting the day with joy and so much honor and reverence in our heart, everything that's in the way of that is the pollution of water inside of our body. And this blew my mind because then the auroras begin to come in and purify the water. And I was shocked at how quickly the water of my body was purifying to allow me to return to my original pure source consciousness inside of my own being. And it was teaching me that as we do this in our own body, we are awakening and supporting humanity to do this. And we can also be doing this, you know, in the earth for the waters as well. And, you know, um, a while ago, when I was going through my water research um, rabbit hole, I found this one TED Talk from like 2006 or something. And you can do a YouTube search, something like water, plasma activated water, pesticide, excuse me. And it was on TED Talk. And is this amazing, you know, nerdy scientist guy who was so in love with his work, you could tell. And he was talking about how they discovered that this amazing thing happens when lightning strikes water, that it transforms the water into plasma activated water. And there is a specific antiseptic quality that comes online where that water is actually now it purifies itself and it also becomes a fertilizer for plants and that can actually replace all pesticides on earth and they had this 10 years ago or more and so you know we could have replaced all the pesticides on earth with plasma activated water 10 years ago okay Sorry about that. I, I had no idea where my phone was. It was like, I fell off and I, I was receiving a phone call. I do apologize for that. <laughs> I am fired up. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of livid, honestly. But of course, we know who has been hiding free energy technology and, you know, cures for cancers and all of these things. And I mean, it, it's time for us to get, excuse my language, I was about to swear, but really angry and not just like blindly angry, you know, there is this like chaos anger that, you know, people sometimes misconceive um, as Kali and is this blind rage. And it's like, no, that's not what we're wanting. We don't want to just go around cutting people's heads off, but we need to allow this anger to actually shake us out of our numbing shields, shake us out of our numbness. Um, So yeah, this is, I mean, these are the, this is why this month inside of the Earth Star Academy, the two workshops are on transforming rage and on cleansing the numbing shields in our mind, our heart, and our sexual centers, which are the three centers of our creation light body. And again, I'm going to put the Zoom link of those down in the description so that you guys can have access to those if you're not inside of ESA, because I believe that this medicine and the water just really wants everyone to begin to bubble, bubble awake and come back to our purest essence. And, you know, it's amazing when we connect with the auroras because they are so innocent and pure and full of love. And it's almost like this childlike wonder, this childlike innocence. And yet it is so powerful. You would think that, you know, that innocence is, you know, weak, but it, within that purity, it is so in union with creation that it doesn't need to be anything but just this pure joy. And it has that, you know, in, in itself is this incredible power that begins to transform everything as if by miracles. So I feel that in the coming years, as we awaken and as you share this intelligence, 
as you awaken people around you to this elemental unity that as human beings awaken that you know we are probably going to get mad we're probably going to get upset and so that we you know bring about change every major revolution in the history of modern civilization has come from human beings who are sick of what is <laughs> you know they they are just being bullied and and you know told to shut up and being taken of all of their wealth by the elites and then at some point they're like no more we want democracy so what does this present revolution look like because we have received you know democracy and the right to vote and the right to our sovereign um creative freedom in the americas that led to you know this whole uh almost like this blooming of of creativity and now we are seeing this tyranny start to come up again and so there's this whole new revolution that is coming up and i just get the sense that this revolution is really being led by this vibration of the auroras where you know, all we want is to be in union is for all human beings to live you know free and in love and have the freedom to connect to source and support each other and create beautiful things and have a good time while we're doing it is that too much to ask that's all that we're asking for and once human beings you know stir and, and intend and create direction towards that enough i really do feel that scientists will study more on these technologies like the plasma activation of water and how that can purify the water in an incredible way so that we can restore the earth's waters to its original pre pristine state and you know i i believe that that's what we are learning to do now so if you are a scientist <laughs> and you have access to you know a lab and you want to do research on how we can purify water with lightning or plasma um, and how that can work you know that would be something that would be really exciting maybe we want to petition for whoever was doing that research to come back and do that again or you know this is why i think that new earth entrepreneurship is so important it's because we need to get strong we need to create solutions and then we need to create abundance so we can fund those studies and we can fund those scientists to create solutions and this is what leadership looks like you know i'm not telling you that um water you know we'll just transcend water right if you just get enlightened enough then you won't you won't be bothered by you know people polluting water um i'm saying we're here to be we're humans for a reason we're here with our 10 fingers and 10 toes um walking on this earth we have time we have energy we are here to create something to weave something to do something incredible and one more thing that wants to come in is the presence of the whales so I, I didn't know that in in february i mean i never would dream to swim with the whales like I, I don't really think a lot about what i want to experience <laughs> it sounds funny because you know i'm always traveling to these amazing places and doing like the coolest stuff but i'm never sitting around thinking about what i want and i think that's the key it's like when you give your life into your destiny and just promise god that you'll do whatever you need to to fulfill your personal prophecy then everything is a bonus in your life and god is just constantly blessing you up because you are just you know a part of the prayer but in february when i made the aurora sound chamber with the whales i just realized that they were calling me to visit them and so you know long story short i just learned that in moorea every year around october is when the whales actually go there to mate and um they i i feel that um i mean they've been teaching me to sing i think it's pretty obvious for a few years now but especially now um i feel that this family of whales are going to be sharing certain things about the grids with me because i've already received downloads that they're teaching human beings their technologies to support the earth's grids because that's what the whales do um every family of whales every tribe of whales have a different song 
and the mothers and the uncles and the family members teach the babies how to sing the tribe song and every tribal song of the whales facilitate and hold a specific architecture and template a certain library of codes for the crystalline grid of the earth and i know it's amazing but um i really feel that the singing this oracle singing it is um coming up in a really big way i i'm guided to teach a weekend class finally on oracle singing i know that people have been wanting this for me for years is my most requested class but honestly oracle singing is something that is so sacred to me in a way it's really you know not even a a, a vocation right and so i didn't really think that i could teach it really I, I didn't even think that i um i don't know had the rights to teach it but in this time you know the auroras are really telling me that no we need to we need to get everyone singing and not only that we need to get everyone speaking and sanctifying their voice so you know they've encouraged me to open this four-day class over the equinox so that we can all learn how to use our voice and the whales are teaching us how to weave these sound fields to hold a frequency around the earth that you know we can heal um whales i mean water we can heal water and in all geometries of the earth and you know before we dive into our ceremony i'll tell one more story um i i don't have the page ready for the class yet so i'll drop that next week because i'll be back on sunday again next week um i'll share more about the class then but um one last story is how i started singing years ago i 2018 i found out about uh pizzagate and and the human trafficking situation on earth and honestly recognizing water pollution on earth is a similar thing right that's just what's happening on earth right now it's like yeah there is fukushima and there is the ohio train derailment but what it's really doing is invigorating this awakening like we've been doing this for 10 20 30 50 years this is the first time that we've been dumping nuclear waste into the sea in fact other countries other nuclear plants do it secretly and we just don't know about it so of course fukushima was this massive um crisis and also the island of japan is very sacred to the dragon grids of the earth um going to bring on my sister Katrina one week to talk about the downloads that she's received about Japan specifically. And so, you know, even Maorea, that, that uh, island in the middle of the uh, Pacific Ocean, I discovered that in the 60s, they were doing nuclear bomb testing there, and they dropped 200 nuclear bombs in the ocean. And, you know, so many, like, I think cancer and leukemia just like exploded in Tahiti by like 5,000%. It was this thing that we didn't hear about. And so, so many things have happened without us knowing about it. And now, anytime things like this ha come in the news, it's really this opportunity for us to actually come into lucidity like yeah we can respond to a crisis after crisis after crisis like now now it's maui now it's fukushima now it's you know turkey and we need to just zoom out and say okay we have a systemic issue that's been going on for maybe a hundred years and it's really bad and if we are going to truly respond let's respond from a place of empowerment and lucidity instead of you know crisis um but essentially, I feel what is happening now with the water pollution is the same thing that happened in 2018 with um, human trafficking. And at that point, I had this, um, I was asking God, like, what can I possibly do? Because obviously I need to do something about it. And I had this dream that I was in a place that was so distorted I could feel like it was some sort of dungeon where horrible things had happened and there was like blood everywhere and in that dream I just started singing and this divine frequency emanated from my throat and I could feel the vibrations begin to shift the fabric of time space and then that morning when I woke up from my dream I was invited to a ceremony and I went to the ceremony that night 
and that was when you know i received my songs i just the the shaman was like will you sing a song and i was like i don't know how to sing and i opened my mouth and i could feel this channel above my head open and this beautiful song came out and i was like wow i didn't know i could do that um and so since then i've been learning about how sound vibrations you know it's such a profound mechanism that the throat is really a creational stargate just like our cervix and the sounds that emanate from my our throat it vi vibrates into eternity it vibrates into the matrix the the organic matrix the fabric of time and space and so um it really felt like uh this living technology of our biology we're meant to sing to the water to every single thing we're meant to shift and change the vibration of this reality through sound vibrations so um i'm really excited to teach you how to do that finally and it's going to help you to open your voice to speak your truth with beauty and love as well i find that when you speak with love it is more palatable and these days even if i'm telling my neighbors or my parents about really horrible things they just can't help but listen because i'm speaking it with such love in my heart for them and the earth and you know no human being i guess some human beings are just really big assholes and they can deny it but most human beings will not reject that so um the web page is not quite ready but i guess i will put the link in the description so it's just there and, and you can see me build it <laughs> it's a lot of work um so Okay, we're going to get ready to step into our ceremony and experience this direct transmission from water and its original crystalline nature. And uh, yeah, again, it's just my prayer that every single human being that receives this delicious vibration throughout time and space, they really get to have a potent experience of awakening and union with water, with their own source with their own elemental intelligence and i just pray that this awakening you know moves through their water molecules into all the water molecules around them and for every human being to find that spark that life is worth fighting for and life is worth living for and life is worth everything in our power to protect and to uh, support and it's healing okay so i invite you to maybe get some water get a blanket and just get ready for our ceremony and we'll get started in just a couple of minutes Oh yeah, and what I did want to say is that I had this um, incredible inspiration that on the last day of our class together, we're going to um, do this container where we'll sing and we'll have everyone listen in headphones and record themselves singing um, on some sort of device. And then whoever wants to participate will send their recording to me and I will weave together an Aurora Angel Choir sound chamber with all of our voices. Um, and I, I have this feeling that this is going to be really powerful um, for the grid work that we are here to do together in the coming years. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, and also it's open to men. <laughs> Um, I wanted to bring the Divine Masculine into this and the Maoreya event just because um, I feel that this work is all about hieroscamos and I really felt like I was tuning into the uh, our men and I just felt like they would have just been so bummed if they <laughs> weren't invited to this and so um, for all you men out there you have a voice your voice is also like a, a creational stargate 
and this is an amazing way that you can activate and create as well. All righty. All right, everybody. All right there, Sharon. Sharon Natoli. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Let's do this.
beloved mother spirit of water we connect now to your universal essence we invite in the living aurora crystal water supporting this up leveling of universal intelligence and the activation of water intelligence in all dimensions calling forth the water devas the true purest original living essence of water crystalline water of the earth and as you breathe open your awareness as if you are listening with your senses listening with your being your consciousness your skin your sentience And as we open our mind to receive, we're tuning our frequency to come into communion with the Aurora forces. This frequency of pure love, innocence and joy and union. gonna bring ourselves to this lake high up in the mountains somewhere in aurora earth taking us to the waters that fully remember our collective original essence And as we approach this body of water, this beautiful spring water lake, seeing the sunlight shining down, creating this shimmer, this glistening, beautiful dancing light on the water. Allowing this vision of the water dancing in the sunlight to bring us into another altered state of consciousness where we are in touch with a beauty beyond this dimension. The beauty of nature that takes our breath away and brings us directly into the sacredness of life. And as you feel the sunlight dancing on this beautiful crystalline fresh water, we're tuning into the qualities of this water. beautiful joy and peace reverence in its existence most like this eternal giggle of innocence and we're allowing this water to help us remember our own human nature our softness our purity our tenderness we're feeling the sunlight shining on our skin as the light dances on the water of our own body We're 
we're tuning into our consciousness in our body and the wholeness of our body, not just in our mind, what we think, but how we feel in the totality of our body. How all the molecules of water in our body is tuned to a certain vibration and how some parts of our body can be frozen in trauma, pain, sadness, stress, anxiety, tension. Begin to perceive your body as this bag of water. And any place in your body where there's discomfort or sadness, See that it's just water that is frozen in that vibration. And for a moment, we're just going to tune into the water inside of our body. Is our water crystalline and pure? Are there viruses and chemicals and heavy emotions that are polluting our water? And let's for a moment just allow this remembrance of our true crystalline nature and the water intelligence itself to purify Almost as if the solar plasmic energy is sparking the water in our body and purifying it free of all of its pollutants. Feel any pieces of our body that are frozen in depression or anxiety or judgment, separation, unworthiness, insecurity. Allow that body of water to be baptized by the original waters of living creation, dissolving and melting and purifying all the water in your body that has fallen from its true home original vibration. Again, tuning into the body as this bag of water, every molecule of water running through it, the current of life force, cosmic consciousness. Allowing the sound vibrations and the plasmic living light of the sun to activate the water in our body to remember what it feels like to be water to be water that it's alive with the essence of our original creation 
pure crystalline joy, divine love, unity, reverence for life. Allow this awareness to bring your mind to any places in your body where that pure water intelligence currently cannot exist due to toxicity and poison poison of viral consciousness beliefs of separation hatred judgment depression trauma awakening your body's water into its remembrance allowing that remembrance to purify and restore your original template with ease and as if by miracle having this visceral experience how the water inside of our own body is polluted to an extraordinary level that we're not feeling connection with life we're not feeling absolute joy and reverence and union and love and lightness you know as the foundation and the basis of our life how that water in our body it's the one and the same as the water in the earth and in order for us to gain the ability to take actions take powerful strong actions for source to work through us we can begin with the purification of the water that is inside of our own body knowing that we are fully worthy of feeling joyful and free and light and crystalline so any tension and distress and depression we can actually just purify those waters almost by miracle we can let it go now as if by miracle when we recognize the water molecules in our body actually do not recognize itself as being separate than the water molecules that are in everything and so the water in the oceans in the lakes in the rivers we are source consciousness living through water and we can journey out of our body into the waters of the earth and support in its awakening where water can fully remember its original essence So in the same way that we have been feeling into the pollution, the sadness, the trauma in our own body, I invite you to crawl your awareness now into the ocean, into the Pacific Ocean, 
In the same way that you were perceiving the water as yourself, perceive the Pacific Ocean as yourself and sense the pollution, the degradation, any heaviness and stagnation in the water. And we're going to start to pull in this aurora frequency of living joy, this higher self essence of water, this original essence of water. And we're going to send sparks through the water, okay? Like little lightning strikes. This aurora plasma, almost like this defibrillator that is radiating through the water, awakening all the water molecules to remember its original structure. We're just intending for our collective body to become an instrument for God, for the auroras, for all of the angelic galactic teams who work in purest alliance with the Christed templates, devotion to union and all of creation. We invite the aurora forces to bring in any healing frequencies, activations through our group field into the Pacific Ocean and any other body of water that is needed at this time. We intend and open and emit this plasmic lightning as we have merged with the Pacific Ocean and we are perceiving ourselves as the ocean. And we are purifying the ocean just as we were our own body. We're allowing the auroras, the higher forces, Mother, Father, God, to work through our group field at this time. To bringing any purification technologies, intelligences, detoxification protocols, architectures. And just an amplification of the architecture of original water intelligence in the earth. And we're just gonna stay here for as long as we are called.
just inviting you all to voice and sound as we are in the ocean we've become one with the ocean and we're just forming this grid we're all over and we are emitting this plasmic solar frequency to awaken the water to bring in any activations any and all healing technologies in accordance with mother father god and the living intelligence of the earth through your heart through your love i invite you to sound and to create these sounds into the water to transmit these frequencies creating a sound field that is re-architecting and purifying the waters of the earth begin to breathe as if the ocean is the diaphragm okay and with every inhale we're pulling in this plasmic activation awakening of the water energy the purification and with every exhale we're releasing the tension the disease the pollution rebirthing it through the womb of creation and almost as of the ocean we are all breathing as one breathing in purification and the activation breathing out pushing out the toxic sludge right out into the cosmos rebirthing it back into source breathing in bringing in the plasmic activations into the water breathing out pushing out distortions and let's continue to do this as a unified as the ocean one with the ocean
the ocean, we are remembering our elemental unity. That's what happens to her body happens to all of us. And it's our duty to protect her, to nourish her, to love her as she loves us. feel as if our group field is merging with a heartbeat and the strong eternal prayer that is living in our heart is beating as her heart giving her strength power giving her love inspiration and intelligence giving her support to her healing intelligences as she can heal herself Ooh. singing our love our support our power into her to the purest of our love
take a deep breath bring your awareness slowly back to your own body away from the planetary logos back into your own body but carry this feeling in your heart And let's just sit here together for a moment, remembering the holy innocence of unity. Noticing how ever since we were small, we were brainwashed into believing that bullying and competition, judgment, insecurity, these things become what is most normal in our relating to others coming back into the home in our heart where we can be purified of those poisons in the well of our body where truly are safe to be with another and we can truly be a safe place for the other We are each a soft, precious body of water. And in the core essence of our heart is innocence and love and a desire for love and a desire to share love. And as we awaken to our elemental unity intelligence, to see that all of life on earth is sentience, that lives inside of that unity consciousness of our planet. We begin to purify these poisons of consciousness, to support the ocean of our humanity. And not to be afraid to deep dive into the ocean of your body where the poisons are living Because that is the way to supporting the planet in its awakening. And remember that water can heal almost miraculously when it's touched by the lightning, the plasma of consciousness. water of this planet must be healed and purified and that includes the water inside of our own body and it begins here and we can do it together it can be fun but we have to awake and awaken your inner dragon in stasis now Thank you for this powerful prayer and good work ceremony, my family. I hope that this was inspiring. I hope that you had an experience with the beauty of water, the magic, the power of water. Oh, and I, I pray that, you know, if you feel that your heart is numb, that you really take the time to come to this workshop this month. Uh, it is on the 14th of September. So I will remind you next week. But this is how we awaken the dragon, the power, the strength, and the...
passion of our mission. So, yes, thank you all for being here. Write to me in the comments your experience with the water. Feel how your body um, shifts and this awareness integrates and come back and write to me down in the comments. I would love to get feedback and see because, you know, I really had a deep prayer for everyone to have an intimate relationship with water. And so I really want to know if that happened for you. So please come and comment on the video and let me know because that will just bring me so much happiness. Okay. Candace says, there is a spring of pure water bubbling into the Pacific slowly. It's clearing what was darkened that is now filled with plasmic healing light. I love that, Candace. Thank you so much for sharing. Well, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you uh, next Sunday for Starseed Mission Support. <laughs> Bye for now.